Do you wish you could have something simple, visually appealing, and something that has everything you want your students to do for the week in one location? Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own week at a glance in Google Slides. Hey friend, thanks for joining me again today. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create a week at a glance in Google Slides. So as you see, I am in a new Google slide. It is blank. You want to start with a blank canvas. This week at a glance is basically made up of three things. It's made up of images, text boxes, and shapes. So the first thing you want to do is kind of just create an outline. So I'm going to create a text box and just kind of put my title week at a glance. We can edit that later. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. But the meat of our week at a glance lies in the shapes that we are going to make for each day. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my shapes tool and I'm going to select the rectangle shape. And I am going to create a rectangle. Um, this we will edit soon, but I just kind of want to play around with this. I'm going to start by putting in the center. My week at a glance is going to create is going to contain five boxes, one for each weekday. So I'm going to copy and paste this to see if. I can already tell this is going to be too wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this just a skosh, copy and paste, and make sure that I have um, enough room for all of them. So, and obviously you, you're going to want to play around with this for a little bit, make sure you, it all fits. Um, let's see, put a couple more. And if you notice that it's too much, do you see how mine is overlapping? What you can do is just highlight, you can either click and drag and it'll highlight all of them. And then I'm just going to make this a little bit thinner on one and then it should do that to the rest. So let's see, I'm gonna make this just a little bit thinner and still a little bit thinner still. And then I'm going to make sure the whole thing is centered and there you go. Okay. So obviously I don't want these to be um, gray. So I'm going to select all of them again. I'm going to make the inside transparent. And I do still want an outline because I do want to show that these are five separate days. So the next thing I want to do is create a space for the title. Now for the title of each box, you can either add the whole day, like Monday, spell out the day, or you can abbreviate with just a letter. And how I'm going to do this is again, create another shape and I'm going to overlap it at the top, kind of center it. So actually for the inside of this, I'm going to make this white and I'm gonna make it borderless. So now if you were to click out of this, you would see it looks like I have a space at the top. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste this using the red lines and the guides. I'm gonna do it four more times for the other boxes. Make sure this is centered. So now I have it in all five boxes. Now what I want to do is I want to add my title for each one. So I can add it inside by double clicking and just writing out again either Monday or what I want to do is just abbreviate and put M and I'm going to center this in my shape and then I'm going to make it bold and just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do that for all of them. Now what I'm going to do is I can just copy, paste, and then paste, paste, paste. 
Okay, so now I have my Monday through Friday. So now that I have my base week at a glance, I want to edit my title because I right now it looks kind of plain. Uh, this is where you can adjust the font types. You can look through all of your Google fonts. Google has so many that you can choose from a number of different fonts. For this example, I'm just going to keep it simple. I like Century Gothic and I'm going to make this bigger because I want it to stand out and I'm going to bold it. And then you can adjust the text box as needed. Maybe I want to put this up a little bit more. The other thing you can do with your title, if you'd like, is you can click on the text box. Make sure you're clicking on the outline of the box. And then go to your format options and select drop shadow. And that will give your title a little bit of flare, if you will. Just a little bit of a shadow. Um, you can always omit this step if you want, but it's just to kind of give it a little more fanciness. So now I have my week at a glance and from here, what I want to do because I don't want my students to be able to move anything around. They can, right, as of now, if I were to share this with my students, they could cl click on any of this and accidentally erase. And that's not what I want. So a way to make sure that this stays in place is to make this a background image. And you can do that this way. I recommend taking a screenshot of this slide. When you take a screenshot, it makes your background image a little bit clearer. If I were to save this slide as a JPEG, when I re-upload it as a background image, you might notice it gets a little blurry and I don't want that. I want this to be as clear as possible. So I'm on a MacBook and it, the shortcut for that is Command Shift 4. If you are on a PC, you can use your snipping tool or you can use a program like Snagit, which will take a snapshot of your selection. So I took a snapshot. This is going to get saved to my desktop because I know that that's where my screenshots usually are saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually now go to view and you're going to view your master slide. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom until I find the blank. And what you can do is you can duplicate that slide just so you can keep the blank. And then I'm going to click background and I'm going to choose the image that just saved to my desktop. So I know for a fact it's this one and it's going to work its magic and you'll see that now your week at a glance is a template. So if I were to X out of this, clicking this in the corner, and I were to create a new slide with this pull down menu, you'll see that now it's an option. So now I have a week at a glance and if you notice, I cannot drag, accidentally erase anything. So that is one way you can create a week at a glance and keep it as your layout. Another way you can do this, so I'm just going to delete this first one and now I have my template. Another way you can do this is let's say you kind of want fancier fonts, right? Maybe you don't want to use any of the Google fonts. You can use PowerPoint and with PowerPoint, all it is is doing the same exact thing, except you, you're using your own fonts. Now you can always go onto different sites to download cute fonts and that's what I did. I, I purchased some fonts and it just looks cuter, but it's the same idea. Once you're done creating, you will take a snapshot of your slide and then you'll return back to your Google Slides, go to View, go to Master, duplicate your blank slide, and then as the background, choose the image of the screenshot you just took with your cute fonts. And then when it uploads, now you have a little bit of a fancier uh, layout. So let's say this is the one I created first. If I go to Layout, maybe I wanna switch it up. Here's my other one. And again, can't move anything. Kids can't erase anything. The last thing I wanted to show you 
is how to jazz this up with icons. If you were to go to Flat Icon, I love Flat Icon. It's free. They have a premium subscription where you can get more icons, but I absolutely am obsessed with Flat Icon. Let's say you want one of those days to be math related. I can just type in math and find an icon I like and I can click on it and I can either copy the image or I can click on the PNG and it will download it. And then I can go back to my presentation and I can either drag it and then adjust the size and say, okay, well, maybe on Tuesday we're going to do math. You can just kind of jazz up your week at a glance with different icons. So that is how you can turn your week at a glance from something basic to something a little bit more visually appealing. And I find that students can look at what you have assigned for them for the week and everything is in one place. You can add links, you can add other images, and it really is just a matter of making some text boxes, making some shapes, uploading some images, doing a little bit of work on the back end with creating a background image, but you have this beautiful template now that you can use week after week. So I hope that helps. If you are interested in purchasing some weeks at a glance, let's say, Maybe you don't want to go through the trouble of making your own. If you're interested in just purchasing a couple, I do have some for sale on my TPT store, which I will link below. So hopefully this helps. I hope you have a great school year and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.